Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I'm sorry. Wicket wants to watch the all-night Lassie marathon that's happening here on TV, but he only wants to watch it on the uh, TiVo HD that we are reviewing for the next few weeks. After I posted in my blog that I was interested in picking up my first TiVo, uh, they asked if I wanted to have one as a review unit, at least for uh, a little while, and then I'll have to send it back, of course. And I said, sure, because I've always wanted to try TiVo, uh, if only because uh, with certain software, uh, legitimate software, certainly, um, and I mean legitimate not because it was officially sanctioned by TiVo, uh, but uh, there's software that will allow you to take programs that you record on your TiVo, and as long as you have that TiVo connected to your home network, take those programs uh, and basically transcode them on your computer, whether you're running a Mac or Windows, uh, and then you know turn them into videos that you can watch just about anywhere on any device that supports the video that you know, like an MPEG-2 or uh, MP4 or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I've always wanted to do that because most of the DVRs, if not all the DVRs that I've had, uh, were only like boxes unto themselves. They weren't networked in any way, which is kind of frustrating. I mean, you don't want to record a video here because then you have to watch it here. That's the idea of kind of federating the content that you're already paying for. It's one of the reasons why I, you know, like having the sling box. It's a different kind of device. So, uh, you know, I don't want to get into that right now. We've reviewed it before. We've also talked about Myth TV before, which is kind of an open source. It is an open source DVR that has certainly generated quite a bit of attention uh, within certain communities. You may be an avid Myth TV user. You may be an avid TiVo user. So I wanted to bring up a couple of programs that uh, were developed by third parties, not by TiVo. Of course, you know there's the TiVo desktop, uh, which will allow you to get program or get uh, media from your computer to your TiVo. But the software that I want to tell you about today is a way to get the media from your TiVo back to a computer. If you Google for TiVo Butler, you're going to run across this program from Bauer Home Software, free program, at least that I know of. And TiVo Butler is a desktop management tool that will allow you to browse the recordings that you've made on your TiVo. Download them, transcode them, and really make it easy for you to see what you've done over there, wherever your TiVo happens to be sitting. Because, yeah, you could use the TiVo remote control to do things, but sooner or later, that gets a little tiresome because you want to interact with things with a mouse or a keyboard, and really, there's no simpler way than just using the computer that you already have. This, however, TiVo Butler is only available for Mac OS X, but never fear, there's also TiVo Playlist. That's one word, TiVo Playlist. TiVo Butler, by the way, two words, two try two two words two words um tivo playlist is one word tivo playlist no space uh you can search for that this happens to be a windows utility that does kind of the same thing uh, for the most part it doesn't look as nice and i wouldn't say it's as feature rich but it will help you kind of see what's going on on your tivo from your desktop computer i guess wicket's getting tired of waiting for me to ch you don't have to watch it in tivo hd we've got an hd tuner in the other room too dogs and lassie who knows anyway my email address is chris at perillo.com maybe you have uh, other tivo software to recommend dvr software to recommend dvr tips tivo tips whatever pass them along you're also welcome to stop by the chat room and you know chat it up about software hardware internet services tivo whatever and we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed at live.perillo.com we'll eat you later